the respiratory system. What is something that you do all the time, whether you are awake or asleep? You breathe. Breathing is the constant requirement of the body, without which one cannot live. But why do we breathe? We know that glucose is produced as a result of breakdown of food by our digestive system. Glucose provides us energy. But glucose alone is not enough to produce energy. We breathe because our body needs oxygen that reacts with glucose and produces energy. Carbon dioxide is produced as a waste during this reaction. So, what is the job of your respiratory system? The respiratory system provides oxygen to your body parts and removes the waste carbon dioxide. Organs of the respiratory system nose, trachea, right bronchus, left bronchus, right lung, left lung, diaphragm. What are lungs? Lungs are sac-like organs located in the chest cavity. We have two lungs, right lung and left lung. Left lung is smaller than the right lung. This is because the left lung makes some room for the heart. Lungs are protected by a bony coverage called rib cage. Inside the lungs, the air that we breathe in comes down to the trachea, also known as windpipe. Trachea divides into two large tubes, left and right bronchus. Left bronchus enters the left lung and right bronchus enters the right lung. Inside the lungs, each bronchus further divides into several branches, the smallest of which are known as bronchioles. Bronchioles end into bunches of very tiny structures called alveoli. Alveoli are tiny bag-like structures made up of only one cell thick layer. They are covered by even smaller blood vessels which are known as capillaries. Our lungs are full of bunches of alveoli. There are around 650 million alveoli in our lungs. Mechanism of respiration Breathing in This is known as inhaling. We breathe in air through nose. The air comes down to trachea and reaches lungs. As we breathe in, the muscular sheet called diaphragm flattens to allow lungs expand. Okay, so diaphragm is present below our lungs. As it flattens, it helps our lungs to expand. This makes room for air. Soon oxygen rich air fills the tiny alveoli. Oxygen from the alveoli diffuses into the blood vessels and enters the bloodstream. The oxygen rich blood from the lungs enters into our heart. Heart pumps this blood into all our body parts. The oxygen from the bloodstream enters the cells that make up body parts. Cellular respiration. Now, inside the cells, oxygen reacts with glucose to produce energy and a waste gas which is known as carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide diffuses into the blood vessels and is carried back to heart 
via bloodstream. Heart pumps the carbon dioxide rich blood back to the lungs. Inside the lungs, carbon dioxide from the blood vessels diffuses into the alveoli. In this diagram, you can see the gaseous transport inside alveoli. The deoxygenated blood from the heart enters the lungs. Inside the lungs, the carbon dioxide from the deoxygenated blood enters into the alveoli, whereas the inhaled oxygen from the alveoli enters into the bloodstream. The blood is now oxygenated and this oxygen rich blood enters into the heart. Breathing out or exhaling. As we breathe out, the diaphragm relaxes, pushing the lungs. The lungs just contract and expel carbon dioxide out of the body through nose. The process of respiration seems slow but is real quick. For instance, count the number of time you inhale or exhale in a minute.